guys. I'm so excited to see you here today. We are gonna do some rock painting. Rock buddies, I have some examples you can see. We're gonna take you from the beginning to the end. So, rock painting, really pretty easy. You don't have to be an artist. You just have to be somebody who likes to draw and likes to rock. Rocks are like little teeny tiny canvases. I have some friends here that are gonna be working on some artwork while we're talking. So, first thing you want to do is you want to prep your rock. Find some rocks, make sure they're kind of smooth. If you find one that's a little bumpy, think about what you want to do on it, because sometimes you can take what's on the rock and make it work to your advantage. But most of the time, a smooth rock is going to be the one you want. And you can do small rocks, and you can do big rocks. I have ones that are even bigger. This is my little buddy. This is a troll. So today I'm going to show you a little bit more technique on how to get some of these animals on your rocks. If you're going to do a buddy, you can do a number of fun things. But I'm going to start out, I am going to put a lot of paint on my rock here. It's been washed and dried and I'm going to get the paint on it. So if anybody can guess what it is I'm painting. Put your put that in the comments. I want to see what you think I'm going to end up with. I need a little more. If you're working outside, because it's so nice outside, work a little bit of paint at a time. Because if you put too much paint in your paint palette or on your uh, plastic tray, your paint's going to dry out. And nothing is worse than putting a big blob of paint and then having it dry. So I'm gonna lay down a lot of color here because this is my kind of like my base coat. And as I showed you earlier, you can paint really nicely with something called primer and it gets, gets your rock nice and smooth, fills in a lot of these little gaps. Primer, it's good stuff to have. I didn't prime this rock because we were just outside but I did wash it because you want the dirt to come off. If dirt gets on your rock and you paint over it, guess what? Nature's going to take over and you are going to have a flaky rock. And nobody likes a freaky lock. Freaky lock? <laughs> um, yeah, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let it dry here in a few minutes. Don't be afraid to get paint on you. This is latex paint that we're using. All these fun colors. Lots of fun colors. But we can also use puffy paints. We can use glow in the dark paints. So this might be fun. I'm gonna probably add some of that with another color. I'm gonna do some color mixing. Keep your paintbrushes nice and clean. But like Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes. They're just happy accidents. So some of my friends are doing some sketching. We got an idea of what we wanted to do on our rocks. So what are you doing over here on yours? You are doing a banana. A banana. Sometimes rocks just look like a certain shape. This might be a great banana rock, but she chose this one. So she's gonna do some yellow. And if anybody knows kawaii, we love kawaii faces. They're cute little happy faces. I only did a dot. Yeah. Here's some of our examples over here. We have an apple, a grape, and an orange. Can anybody guess what one she's going to do first? <laughs> so I'm going to do some color mixing because I want my paint to glow in the dark. So I'm going to use some glow paint and some of my red paint. Anybody have any guesses yet? What is I, my little animal going to be? Make sure you put it in the comments. These little critters are happy, happy little insects in the garden. Oh, I just gave it away, didn't I? <laughs> That's my thing. I loved secrets, but I can't keep them that long. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to do one half. Any guesses, anybody? Do some red on this side and some 
red down this side. Gonna let that dry a little bit. Oh, we got a little face going on over here on our little grape. Being outside is fun, nature is awesome, but boy, sometimes we gotta work with what we got. Okay. We use our tools, use our tools. We have toothpicks, paintbrushes, water. Some of them are necessities and you can do a really awesome job with putting all of your tools in one little container. Grab a giant yogurt container. You probably have yogurt in your fridge. Grab your container when it's done. Put your paintbrushes, put a couple of little containers of paint. You don't have to use these big ones pencil and bring your water bottle along not only is it great for keeping yourself hydrated which is important but you can use that paint bucket after you take everything out and you can use it with a water to rinse your brushes while you're out in the middle it's called plain air painting it's fresh air painting my little ladybug's not quite dry so I'm gonna move on to another one and this one is even more magical <clears throat> because we are using, oh, that's dry. We are gonna start using little tiny dots. And if anybody can guess what is going on with that cutie pie. It's a three-sided rock. And look what I did. There's you, there's the people who love you, and the people who work to love you and make sure that you're all together and safe. So that is what my, my symbolic meaning of care camp says. But like this one, this one started out as just a bunch of little random paintings and I said, I think it needs a little more something. So I added the butterfly and it still wasn't quite right. So then I went and I found a picture of a butterfly and guess what? I added the black and it really made her come alive. And then I added a little saying, which you can do on your rocks. Your wings are already exist. All you have to do is fly. So now I feel like this little buddy is just ready to go out there in the world. And the fun part about painting rocks is sometimes you find one that you really, really fall in love with. And then you find ones that you're like, hey, this is really fun. I'm just gonna doodle on a rock. And that, my friends, is actually Sharpie marker. So we just did some fun stuff. We're gonna seal it soon with our sealant you can use anything that's top coat we're gonna seal it and then you can put it out in the world and hide it and can you imagine the joy of somebody finding a handmade little treasure they don't know who it came from they don't know how many miles it's journeyed but all they know is somebody put a special treasure out in the world. Hidden treasure is so much fun to find. You're like a modern day pirate. So don't be afraid to do some rocks for just putting out there in the world. I'm gonna start in on my next project here. I'm gonna do what's called mandala. So it's an, a long art form. of painting with little dots, which is what this one was. 
all those little tiny dots. You start with one center and you just work around it. Working, working, working. Always radiating out. And my dots are not perfect. If you get really close up, you can see that some of them are not circle, circle, and some of them are a little more triangle. And some of them are really big. But there are some very talented people, very patient people, who I have seen do mandalas that are absolutely perfect. Every dot, there's a special tool that you can use. And it will give you perfect dots. Fun thing about these paint palettes is they scrape off paint. So if, you're, if you really love painting and you really want to get into this a lot, get a paint palette because then your paint, if it dries, you just scrape it out. So here's some of my colors I'm going to work with. I'm going to take one of my tools. And we're just going to make a bunch of little circles. Each time I'm dipping, dipping, dipping. I'm going to move on to my next color. Isn't nature fun? That was the biggest grizzly bear. He just came lumbering by. I think he had some gas. <laughs> Something. He was really loud. Being out in nature, I tell you, nothing better. Somebody, anybody can leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me where your favorite nature is. Is it by the ocean? Is it by a stream? Is it in your backyard? Some people find it really safe to just be in their backyard. I am an adventure girl and I love the mountains. I've been to deserts. I've been to the ocean. I like lakes the best. That's where I grew up, around a lake. So I love swimming. My mom always said I was probably born with gills hidden somewhere. Some people call me a mermaid. But as you can see in the video, I don't have a lot of hair, but that's okay. It means I don't get beachy hair waves. No tangles. So what do you think about this mandala? What do we think, guys? Rinse off my tool. Wipe it off so it's clean. It's fun sharing with friends, too. I'm going to add a little something extra here. So mandalas are just about repeating shapes. Okay. Because I want to make a giant apple. I'm doing it. Doing it right now. I'm doing a red one. Looks like a very beachy, very tropical mandala I'm going for. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan. I just knew I was going to start out with some dots. 
Remember friends, a dot is a lot. <laughs> and a lot of dots make a lot, don't they? So we're gonna rinse it off again. <clears throat> I think one of my friends here has a paintbrush for me. I'm gonna take, um, let's see, let's do this color. Nice, happy orange. And we're gonna make a big circle around this. Mandalas take a lot of patience, but pretty much anybody can draw a circle. Who wants to leave me a comment about anybody who knows what the study of rocks is? Someone who studies rocks. Does anybody know what that name is, that special person? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Who are special people that study rocks? And I bet all those people who are watching me would love to have a rock. So you leave me a comment, you put your name in there, and we will draw from all the people. I will do 10 rocks, so that means 10 people get a chance at a Sarah rock. Cause Sarah rocks! <laughs> <laughs> all right, not quite done with it yet. We're still working on it. If you leave your paints in your paintbrush, it's gonna dry that way. Nothing ruins your day faster than having a paintbrush full of dried paint. Because then you cannot get it back out. I'm gonna add a little to this one. Did everybody comment on that one? It's gonna be my final outcome. of my eye. I bet some of you 
at camp are the apple of your parents' eye, right? So don't be afraid to do something to give it to somebody. I love making rocks and giving them to friends, whether they know it or not. Sometimes you just hide it for them where you know they're gonna find it, but you don't tell them what you did. People love hidden treasure. Some more dots. Add some more dots. I hope wherever you are, friends, that you are having a beautiful sunny day like I am. My friends here. Nothing feels better than the wind in your hair. If you have hair. If you don't have hair, it just feels good. <laughs> Bonus is you don't have to worry about tangled hair. Little bits that well, I could probably use a little more color. Who thinks I should go all the way around the rock? Tell me in the comments. Should I go all the way around this puppy? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I want your input. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Do you think I could put my finger right there on that center rock? It's a little damp still. I'm going to hold it gently. Got to like paint. And this is okay paint. You can get this on your skin. If you get it on clothing, make sure you wash it pretty quickly after you find it. We put down a drop cloth here for our table. And we have work aprons. But it is always nice to just have clothes you don't mind getting paint on. back to this little buddy. Everybody I think got the idea. It's a little black thing with red wings. Now I'm gonna add big happy black dots. It's a lady beetle. about lady beetles or as we know them ladybugs is they are bright red for a reason they are a very visual reminder to birds and other things that might think that this little cute garden insect is some food they do not taste good Lady beetles are very, very yucky. Yucky tasting to other animals. So they serve as a reminder, don't eat me. You will not like my flavor. little eyes right up in the front here and then I will let this black dry and I will go back in with white add a little here on the front and do some more dots All right, my friends, I hope to see you very soon. All of you that did comments, I am super excited to see what you said. 
So let me know how you're doing out there. I want to hear from you and I will put all of your names, everybody who comment, I'll put all your names together. We'll find out who won some fun rock Meats. buddies. If you make a mistake on it, it is what it is. That's the best part. It's your art. You get to keep this or if you want to put it out somewhere for somebody else to find, you can do that. It's your piece of artwork. So, how are we doing, my friends? What are we working on? I'm working on H. I'm working on some clouds. Some clouds, and I see you have a tulip and a sunshine. And what's over here, my friend? Mm, I'm still working on the watermelon. The watermelon. Can I show this one to our friends mm -hmm. out? There. We're gonna add some seeds so that we really know it's a watermelon. But look at that. She drew an awesome face. Fun stuff. So you can take what you have, make sure you prep your rock, look for inspiration anywhere. You can start inspiring yourself just in your house, in your room, draw some sketches. You might take something that was a little tiny flower or a tree or a design that you saw and then you can expand on it. You can draw one flower, you can draw more flowers, you can draw a bird in there, you can put a tree underneath it, you can put a cloud up above it. Because everybody likes a cloud on their head, don't they? So you can start the process, you can change your mind, and then go back over it and change it again. That's how this one started out. It was a colored rock, and I added a butterfly, and then I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go with the butterfly. But then I saw a picture of a beautiful one with a lot of black on the wings. And that's how my inspiration started with the wings. And then I found a really cool quote. So you can do lots of stuff. All it takes is you, your rocks, and some paint or some Sharpies. And then at the final part of it, make sure that you take some sort of sealer and you spray your rock so that it stays awesome. Because nothing's more sad than having it rain or snow, and then all of a sudden everything washes away. If you want to, you can send me some pictures of your rocks. I would love that. And I think some of my rocks might go out and find you. Wouldn't that be cool? You can find my rocks, I can find your rocks. That's the best part about rock painting, because we get to share it all. So you do your part. You come back anytime you want. You come see me. You write to me. Let me know what you're doing.